Ghost of God here. Oh, Catherine was also here. And everyone knew I was whispering. There are some very annoying people here that we can't stand, but we do want to do videos today. So what we decided to do was to rip off Markiplier and record a Let's Play and make it the world's quietest Let's Play. So we figured what better game to play for a quiet Let's Play than Resident Evil 2 Remake Ghost Survivors. Knife is now forever gone. 
Oh well. Well now I have no choice but to equip my hand grenade as a safety item. Now, um, as you can see, there is... I'm going to lure you over here. I'm going to kneecap you. For you, I'm going to shoot you. To stun you. That also um, affects the backpack zombie. Now, the reason why you want to cap the ivy is because those things kill you in one hit. Okay, so now I have ammo for my handgun. I will also take the high grade gunpowder in case I get more um, uh, gunpowder or the other type of gunpowder. So now we are actually nearing the end of this specific scenario. This is also the hardest part. And as you can see, it doesn't matter because I am what, what most people would call dead. It's a nice windpipe you got there. Yeah, that's uh, that's some nice neck cheese. How did I unlock stuff? Visible confusion. All right, so now I will show you the other scenarios. Um, I will show you No Time to Mourn, which is the second hardest. I'm going down in difficulties. So I see this one has a four star difficulty. This one is three star. This one is two star. I'm doing them all in training mode because I am what people would call a coward. Now, uh, the special enemies in this uh, scenario are the poison zombies, I believe. Yeah, I just, we just did this like five seconds ago, so. <laughs> Anyways, right here, um, I see glowing eyes, purple smoke. These are poison zombies. Now. I'll show you what happens. These first two enemies right here are purple poison zombies. So, as you can see, when you kill them, they admit that purple smoke. If you go into the purple smoke cloud, you will become poisoned. If they bite you, you will become poisoned. Alright, so I'm just going to knock him down. I'm not going to kill him because I don't feel like having to avoid the purple smoke cloud. Uh, my name is uh, Kendo. I am the gun shop owner. Now right here, it's just introducing you to the explosive backpacks. Uh, be careful of what the purple smoke cloud. I forgot that one of the zombies here was a poison zombie. So what I'm going to do, if I remember this part correctly, there is a liquor in this area. So what we are going to do, we are going to kneecap the zombie. Come here. Sir. Okay. <laughs> Run forward. And then the liquor should spawn. Where is the liquor? Make the liquor spawned. So basically, I kneecapped that man. I severed his leg with a pistol. And also, just to make myself feel better, come here, sir. Your head is gone. <laughs> just to make myself feel better. Alright, so poison zombies, come here. That was a crit. That was not a crit. I'm going to walk back scared. Hello, sir. How are you? I'm going to try to uh, crit you. I don't think that was a crit. It wasn't. But you know, at least they're not in the way, so I can run past them. <laughs> Shut up, you have no rights. 
Fair enough. Because you are a straight white male. Combine. Combine take. Now, I will see if I can make... I think the game's trying to tell me to use the shotgun. He's still not dead. He is, he is dead, though. He is not dead. Dead. I did not realize that I needed to reload. So, uh, good on you, uh, BTS looking member zombie. And no, we do not condone the listening of BTS as... K-pop is absolute garbage. Alright, so you may think that that's just a setup for you uh, for, for you to have a free kill here, but do not kill him right away. I will show you why. Okay, so what you want to do, just get his attention to follow you. I call this man the Marilyn Manson zombie. If you guys look at his face, he looks like Marilyn Manson if you look at his face. Alright. Or, I call him Billy. Come on, Billy, you can do it. Well, oh, Billy wanted to give me a hug. <laughs> Bad Billy. Oh, he dropped the... That messed everything up. Because... Billy wanted to get kinky with you. It that him. messed everything up because you're supposed to bring him down here. Kneecap him so he drops the backpack. Wake all the zombies up and then run this way. Okay, so now I have to... Uh, I have healing items. Okay, so... Yeah, I expected that, but you know what? I regret nothing. <laughs> because I have a lone lure that I can just use. There we go. Lovely. I want a handgun for once, but I can't. Now I have to wait on this elevator. Oh, hello. Um, you want to... Oh my god. Excuse me. D do you mind... So, that was bad. Yeah. Do not play this like how I am. If you want to see a proper walkthrough for this, there is a YouTube channel called Where's Barry. Now, he did a no damage um, run of all of the Ghost Survivor scenarios and the Hunk and Tofu sub scenario as well. So for this zombie, once again, he's a poison zombie, but you want the backpack because it has another weapon. Spark shot. Now, I'm not going to go that way. Oh, yes, I am going to go that way because I remember what's the other way. I do not have... All right, so what I'm going to do is... Uh, hello. I'm going to try to uh, lure them all over here to the side, and I'm going to try to go that way and go around them. Except for this man, because this man is smart, apparently. I am not smart, however, as you can see. In fact, I am probably the furthest from smart that you can probably be. Hello. I am going to um, shoot you in the face, and then I'm going to run over here. And I'm going to uh, insta-crit her. Or, uh, not insta-crit, but knock her down. Back away from a distance to where the... Poison cloud will not affect me. And now I'm gonna rob him. I would reload those weapons, by the way. I am. I am. To make more shotgun shells. Because you need shotgun shells. There we go. So. to go. But if you go this way, there's a gumball machine. And I forgot what it has in it. I'm going to take the mixed herbs. Just in case. Now, coming up, we are going to encounter an 
ivy. You know, those plant things that... Oh my god, hello. Where did you come from? It wants to eat your face. <laughs> your button clicking is louder than us. So now I have the coronavirus. Dead name that died last year. Oh yeah, and also, uh, happy 2021, everybody. Um, now, I may be in Dark Orange Caution, but I'm also in Dark Orange Caution. Those are from the Spark Shop. Why would you take the Lightning Hawk with no ammo? I'm going to take this as an escape item in case I get grabbed. Supposed to go. Okay, what I'm gonna do. Hello, Asian zombie. How are ya? That's another Asian zombie. There's a zombie somewhere over there who has a explosive backpack. Now the spark shot is absolute garbage. As you can see, zombie did not take that much damage. I, you know what, screw it, I have a safety item, I'm, I can do that, and then while they're all stunned from me pushing him away, excuse me, pardon me, now the ivy will be right here, now ivies, you cannot kill them unless you have the grenade launcher with acid or flame rounds, so for the ivy, you have to shoot him in the bulbs here, and while he's stunned, you have to run past him. This is my greeting party. Oh, this is where I go. I go upstairs. Okay. Listen, sir. I have been a good boy. Uh, um, uh, this is the utmost of, um, bullcrap. Yeah. Freaking. I can't even see because of the stupid camera swipe every time you get grabbed. Oh my god, I wasn't even near you. I'm about to move the camera a bit. 
because my arms are getting stiff. So, oh my god, should I make it okay. in a smooth transition? I know the camera's been moving a bit, but for some reason, after holding things up for a long time, your body decides that it'd be a convenient time to be itchy. I think that I might die. I don't know where to go. I've never played this, so I wouldn't know. Oh my god. I get it. You're poisoned. But we don't have any blue herbs. I right, just so that the purple's not... Oh my god, you freaking... I'm not gonna say that word. Uh, Is this a death? You look pretty dead. Yeah, I think I'm dead. <laughs> There's your neck. So I can. And then we're going to turn right around after this and we're going to record something on my phone of Michael attempting to play a game that's hard and can make him rage without him yelling or getting mad. I can't use my favorite fuck word. No. Darn. As you can hear, there are the annoying people in the background. Alright, now I don't know why this one is uh, timed. So, this, the special enemy for this scenario. Who is the character here? Some uh, chick, I don't know. Some chick in a skimpy outfit. Okay. I can get behind it. That's not a sex joke. I mean, it could be. Okay, there we go. Now, the special enemies in this scenario are these things called pale heads. They can only be killed with enhanced ammunition. That's a pale head. Look at that thing. Ugly looking bastard. I, I missed twice. I missed both. Not just one, but both of my enhanced shots. And I lost my infinite use knife. Hello, sir. How are you? Now, this zombie, you have to get his backpack. Because he has a key that you have to have in order to leave the orphanage. Pretty old to be an orphan. Now, I am going to take the strong ammo. And I am going to automatically load it into my gun. Because he's, this thing's in the way, as you can see. As you see, he's not dead. He is stunned, though. Switching back to my normal ammo. <laughs> that is not the key. Now, once again, you have to get that backpack off of that zombie. As you can see, there are dogs. Doge. I like how he ate all five shots in that in that revolver. Thank you. Take the key, and as you see here, we have this lovely thing called a flamethrower. It's not as lovely as you'd think. It is actually pretty freaking garbage. I'm not sure how many of you guys saw that, Michael. I'm gonna have you go back and put, like, play in slow motion, but there's a dog leaping at me. Three. This may end badly. Two. One. Alright, take a hit. Yep. Alright, so this part is bull, but it's not that bull bull. I want to take the strong ammo. <laughs> because, as you can see, we have a welcoming party. We need to get into that bus. This is why the flamethrower is garbage. As you can see, it does no damage and does not stun enemies in the slightest. So basically, it's just a weapon for the pyromaniacs to get off on. Yes. Okay. There are two pillars. Not just one, but two. Excuse me. 
pardon me. Don't mind me. I'm just trying to live. You know, because that's what everybody wants to do is live their best life. These are just wonderful. No. Ah. Dead. <laughs> wow. Wow. Well, everyone, we thank you for watching our attempt at doing another ripoff video. Um, if you want original, exclusive content of a world's quietest lip light, watch someone better. Watch Markiplier. Um, now, uh, <laughs> anything you would like to add, Death Row? No, but thank you for watching, and we will see you in the next video. Peace.